Hey everybody, okay, here's a video, a performance video about specific things that I've been changing with the kernel, the kernel parameters, okay? And this was to help uh, a friend with an old computer and the things that I found out while, while I was helping him. So I'm going to be leaving the kernel parameters in the description of this video uh, just for you to check out. But first, let's dig into this image that you're looking at. So we got 97 FPS, okay? And you can see all the stats there for GTA 5. And why am I showing you this? Because this is a before and after when I did the, the kernel changes, which includes the mitigations and a couple of things for NVIDIA users. But this also affects AMD users, by the way. AMD users either with AMD car or the CPU too. Here's another one. Uh, this is uh, Ryu Inks, or how do you pronounce that? Um, emulator, Ryu Yinks, whatever, it's a switch emulator. Um, this is um, Mario 3D All-Star, which if anybody has played the emulator, then they'll know that this game is heavy because it's not very optimized But I, 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 by the emulator yet yeah, because the game is a little bit complex there. But I want to show you something specific here, which is this. Uh, you can see here that right now the game, at least there, uh, at that place, has 33, around 33 um, FPS. Okay, um, we're right now on both of these uh, videos, the GTA and the the Ryu Yinks emulator. We're running it on a 1080. This is a 1080p uh, video card. Uh, the the other computer that I had before the the 4090. And obviously on the 4090, everything's gonna be running perfectly. But this is the computer that, I, that I'm running it in. You can see here the stats. Um, so it's a 1080, the, it has an SSD, a Samsung SSD. Okay, you can see the CPU is really old, uh, uh, 6,700K, uh, 6, or at least eight years, nine years old already. And this is the one that I need to, to tune the, the kernel with, okay? So, um, I'm showing you the before, okay? Now, I'm showing you the after I did the kernel changes. So without changing any, any other things, just the kernel changes. So on the kernel changes, what happens is the following. So on the, on the switch emulator, it actually went from the previous 33, remember we had 33 there, um, to, and it jumped basically 20 FPS more, in my case, so almost 20 almost 20 there so we were now around 50 okay fps uh my son he was be, he's he plays a lot of the switch here the, the damn emulator ended up me buying two switches so now my kids have two damn switches here um i was hoping the switch the emulator would not make me buy a real one but we ended up buying a real one lol um and here we can see the jump on GTA 5 on the 1080, so it jumped from the whatever we had there before. You can you can you can pause the the video and go back. Whatever we had there before uh, to 119 here, um, which was one of the screenshots that I took there, or it was around that. I I, I think it lowered to 115 at one point, but it was between that 115 to above 120, and I think it's it's gonna show you another image soon where it shows you 120 something point being by just changing the parameters and removing the mitigation the kernel mitigation uh, I ended up having a huge boost in FPS on the game especially for Steam there's other parameters in the kernel uh, that actually target Steam or Steam related games but the mitigation was the biggest one of them all okay I'm also going to show you here um, for Onyx, uh, so you can see the impact of it. Okay, so this is the for Onyx that I'm talking about, and well, it's from today. They're, do, they're doing a, a 6.2 performance option that's helping Intel with some specific CPUs there, blah, blah, blah. But let me just go to this graph, because this is the thing that actually triggered me in doing this video. You can see that if they had mitigations off, which is one of the parameters that I'm, I'm going to be putting in the description, there was a huge jump for this type of um, task. Okay, and another one that had a huge, huge jump, basically double here, 
another one that had better performance, and we can keep on going, okay? You can see that in all the cases without mitigation, and if you're a desktop user, you actually don't need mitigation. No, nobody's going to go into your house to just hack the hell out of you or something. So there's a lot of benchmarks here that actually benefit for that. I've been using the mitigations off on the 4090 on the new computer. And obviously I don't perceive something, but there might be a huge jump there too. Um, and we can keep on going, okay? You can see you know, all of it. There, there's no performance penalty that I was able to find with mitigations on. All of them are positive things, okay? Especially this one, Graphics Magic, which is something that a tool that I use, uh, FM MPEG there too. And you can see a lot of things got impacted by either a little like this or a huge amount like that, okay? In databases too, a little bit faster, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, even the GIMP here. So there's a lot of benchmarks, okay? Foronix actually went uh, above and beyond here. You can keep on going. You can go, you can go to the page. I'm looking for games. In, 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 wow, that's 100. Well, anyway, my video, because games were not mentioned here, but my video is literally for the games. And that's why the, the effect is even bigger on older hardware. Okay, on well, 1080, you were able to see a 20 jump in, in FPS for both games that I played there. And here you can see more or less, um, yeah, something around that same thing. So it's a 20 point, what do you call it here? A 20 point um, jump. It's the same thing on the FPS values that I was talking about. So I hope this video helps people with old hardware to know that if you actually enable mitigations off on on the cur on the um let me go here so you can actually see it okay better uh, default rub and is being edited by rule yeah sure I have something open there so these are the ones that I'm gonna be putting there some actually apply only for Intel users others like it you don't need this if you have an AMD video card and you don't need most of this if your CPU is something else or the NVIDIA card is something else. So it's just for you to know. But these are the ones that I'm going to be putting there. And it's basically based on a lot of testing over the past, let's say, two months and a half. A lot of testing every, almost every day. And everything actually helped me in one way or another. Okay, So each of these ones actually helped me in one way or another. So I hope this helps everybody in optimizing their computers. And now we're going to go to the videos, the recorded videos, so you can see the, the difference, okay? So here we're playing the game. Look at the uh, DXVK, the FPS value that I'm getting there. Um, that's with the, um, what do you call it? Without the, the, the kernel parameters that I put there. And now you'll be able to check out both um, at the same time. You can start to see a little bit of a difference there. You're going to see around, what, 10, and then it's going to go to 20, stuff like that, okay? It's a quick video. And by the way, the, on the 1080, this this game, um, I'll show you the settings at the end, but it runs very smooth. Uh, so I like it. I actually played the whole game, but on the, on the 1080. I haven't played it on the 4090 yet. Okay, let's go on the right side. We're going to go to the highway. So you can see the, the difference there. Yeah, you can see that it, there's not a lot of difference in some areas, but in others, you actually see a, a huge performance boost. Sometimes up to 20. Yeah. 
Also, I'm getting super fast cars, so yeah, it tries to lag more, basically. Yeah, we can see the average is something as a minimum of 5 FPS there in most areas and then sometimes it jumps to 10, 15, almost 20 there. Inside the house I know it was, oh crap, oh Jesus. Okay, let's go to settings and here are the settings that I was using. Okay, oh I forgot it's not 1080, it's, uh, it's running at 2K basically um, yeah but you can see all the settings here and blah 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 so I hope you like the video and yeah think positive